Well, tonight I thought, knowing who we are, knowing our authority, knowing how to take dominion that God has given us, because he's required us to be co-laborers with him. And so we all need a refresher of that, because we don't pick up nearly as much authority as we should. <clears throat> it's the foundation of all healing, of all deliverance, of raising the dead, of everything we do is knowing who we are. And if we don't, all we do is we copy other people's methods and or, or their words, and they're just kind of empty words. And so it's so important um, that we know who we are in the kingdom of heaven. Um, God chooses three different ways to give us our dominion and our authority. And we're just going to look at one tonight. He gives us because that's how he chose to he chose to delegate his authority to us. The second way is he gives it to us as our inheritance as sons and daughters of of God. And then the third way is he planned our role in building the kingdom by walking through our destiny. But we're only going to deal with kind of his delegated dominion and authority tonight. Kingdom was so very important to Jesus. After he defeated the enemy, he fasted and he defeated the enemy in the desert. And it says in Matthew 4, 4 17, he says, from that time on, he began to preach that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Take a look at it. Look at your hand. That's where the kingdom of heaven is. It says the kingdom of heaven is with you. And after he died and rose again, he appeared for, for 40 days, speaking of things of the kingdom of heaven. And that word kingdom is basilea. Basilea means the taking dominion as a king and <clears throat> exerting influence in both the natural and the spiritual it was it was just so important he did this like 40 day seminar on kingdom and people people would say where is the kingdom of heaven is it here is it over there and he said no the kingdom of heaven is within you so remember that we're not just reflecting God's glory. We're not just reflecting his authority. It's within, within us. And when he was teaching the disciples to pray, he said, we're supposed to pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So what we're doing when we're praying is we're to be bringing the kingdom of heaven onto the earth. And obviously we're not gonna bring it in the same amount or quantity, but we're supposed to be looking around us and anything that is lacking on the earth that is in heaven, we're to be bringing it down, to be making it equal and even. We're to loose the king's domain, his home here on the earth an ambassador of a country you are ambassadors of heaven you're not you're not earthly people you are ambassadors of heaven and wherever an ambassador goes wherever he puts his land his foot when he goes to another country he brings the rule and reign of his country under his feet so wherever you take your feet tomorrow you're bringing the kingdom of heaven and all the rules and reign of heaven under your feet. That was his intention right from the beginning. And when we bring the kingdom of heaven, we can things in the natural can be changed because the supernatural is more dominant, is more important than the natural. That was his intention from the beginning. And we have to understand how, how he made this. It was just there. He's a covenant kind of keeping God. And he always wants to bring us back to the way he planned it originally. 
<clears throat> so we're going to do a little key analogy. Um, Pat's here, Larry, can you run out and get an apple from your fridge? <laughs> so God created the world. <clears throat> and thank you. He created the world. He made ab absolutely everything. We all know that. And he went and he thought, hmm, uh, I, need, I need something. I need company. And so he took dirt and he made Larry. And he said, ha, it is good. And so God fellowshiped with Larry. They walked together day by day. And God said, no. Ah, it's not good for man to be alone. And so he took a rib from Larry and he created Patsy because he said, it's not good for man to be alone. And then when he created Patsy, he said, ah, oh, it's very, very good. And they were in the garden and every day God came to them and they walked together. They were just in him, I live and move and have my being. They were just together constantly. And God trusted them. And God said, you know, you guys, I made the heavens and the earth. Um, <clears throat> I made the heavens and the earth. I made this beautiful garden. There's about 5,000 trees in this garden. 5,000 things you can eat. All you have to do is tend the garden. There's a snip here and a snip there and a snip there. Oh, but by the way, there's one tree over there that you can't touch. That's the tree of knowledge of good and evil, because if you touch it, you will surely die. And so they're walking around one day and Patsy goes, hmm. And the enemy, Drew, says, to Patsy, did God really say not to touch that, that we would surely die? And Patsy goes, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it, it's pretty tempting to let's let's just give it a whirl. And Larry, of course, agrees with Patsy. And so the enemy comes along. Drew comes along and he's going, yeah, 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 yeah. Eat that. Touch that. You know, there's, you know, that's, that's the one forbidden thing. Just, just see what happens. And so they did. And God can't stand that. He can't stand sin. So he separated from Larry and Patsy. And they, <clears throat> and they were gone. And all through the Old Testament, uh, he tried to, people tried to get back to God. They tried to get close to him. And every once in a while, there'd be a special person come along and, and God would speak directly to them. But he wanted more. He wanted his whole family. He wanted everybody on the earth. They were all equal. He wanted everybody back into his family. And so he finally said, you know what? I'm going to send Jesus. So he sent Marcia. Marcia, you're Jesus. And she died on the... And, and he had formerly, he had given Larry and Patsy the keys. He said, you know what, Larry and Patsy, I trust you. Keys are um, symbols of authority, of dominion. And he said, Larry and Patsy, take dominion. I'm giving you the keys, the keys of the kingdom. You guys take dominion over the birds, over the fish, over the land, and then later on in Genesis, he says, take dominion over the weather systems, over the earth, over the minerals in the earth, take dominion over that. Here's the keys of the kingdom. But when they sinned, Drew, the enemy, snatched those keys, snatched the authority and dominion from them and took it. And it says the enemy is the ruler of the world. So then God finally said, you know what, 
this is just up and down, up and down, up and down. And I want my people back. I want my family. So he sent Jesus who died and he descended into hell. And when he was there, he snatched the keys from Drew. Marcia got those keys from Drew. Ha! Got them and took back the authority. <clears throat> and but Jesus added one more level of authority to us. He said in Matthew 28, all authority has been given to me in heaven and earth. Go you, therefore. And in Matthew 16, he says, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. And then he said, <clears throat> so he gave us that extra level of authority. He gave Larry and Patsy, the first Adam, <clears throat> gave. Larry or the Jesus gave God gave Larry and Patsy Larry the first Adam authority over the earth the birds everything in it but then the second Adam Jesus gave us one more level of authority and that level of authority was over every work of the enemy every work and he said, I give you the keys of the kingdom. Whatever you guys bind on earth is bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. So we've got authority over every work of the enemy. But often we don't act like that, do we? We sort of go, we, we pray to God and we say, oh God, oh God, would you, you know, heal Aunt Sadie's broken wrist. Oh, please, will you heal it? And God's up there in heaven and he's going, no, 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 you don't understand. I gave you that job. I gave you the authority to, to kick the enemy out, the, the one that causes sickness and disease. I gave you that authority, so do your job. Does that make sense? <clears throat> Over every, he, he didn't, the one thing we don't have, we didn't have authority over and to take dominion over another person. We were to take authority over the way the earth functions. And we were to take authority over every work of the enemy. But we weren't to take authority or dominion over each other, such as what happened when um, people came to our land and took authority, took dominion over our First Nations. That was not right. We're powerful. And so, and when we pray, many of the things that we pray for, God has already assured us that, that they're done. But it's us that's not doing our job. The kingdom of heaven is at hand and it's in your hand. And whenever what we're supposed to do is walk around this earth and exert dominion, exert authority. When the earth, things on the earth don't look like the quality of things in the kingdom of heaven, we're to bring heaven down under our feet and exert influence. <clears throat> one time I was, I was sitting on a log in a forest, one of my favorite places to be, and God gave me this vision. <clears throat> and I was sitting there and all of a sudden I was transformed and I was wearing this army suit and these army boots and I had this gun called a bazooka. And he said, I want you to see how healing and deliverance works. I want to show you through this what it's like. And he said, like a bazooka is a gun. It's a hollow tube with dynamite, dunamis, Holy Spirit power, and the end of it. And he said, all you, I want you to do is to walk around the earth. And when you see something that is 
is on earth that is not in heaven. I want you to take your bazooka and just you're just being an inspector and you're just looking and say you see a situation of lack. Just take your bazooka and I will I will send my dunamis power to destroy what the enemy has has done to cause that situation of lack and then bring the kingdom resources down into that situation. And I was like, oh, that makes it so easy. I'm not the one doing the healing. You know, if I see sickness, there's no sickness in heaven. So all I have to do is aim my bazooka and go, oh, sickness. And the Holy Spirit comes through and destroys the sickness in that people. So my job, my job is to just go around inspecting. And if there's a situation of lack, lack of peace, lack of finances, lack of love, I can just aim my bazooka at that and Holy Spirit will come through and he will kick out the enemy. And we can pray that the spirit, the opposite spirit will come through. I hope I'm making sense. Um, and so it makes it easy because the responsibility is not ours. And so from now on, instead of saying, oh, God, would you do this? Would you do that? Would you, you know, he's already said, no, I destroyed every work of the enemy when Jesus died in his body, his stripes. Um, <clears throat> By his stripes, we were healed. We have been healed, past tense. It's finished. So if there's sickness, we are to pick up our bazookas and aim them at that thing. And instead of just saying, oh God, oh God, please heal this person, say no, in the name of Jesus, I command that sickness to go now in Jesus' name. I command it to go and I bring healing into his body. Does that make sense? Everybody's sitting very quietly. <laughs> so we need to think about that. And we need to think about taking more authority than, than we have been in, in the past. He says, and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people, the saints of the most high God, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions will serve and obey him. And he says, and of the kingdom, there will be no end. And he says, every day, the kingdom of heaven is advancing with violence and the violent take it by force. And that's not violent in terms of war and stuff, but it's violence in terms of taking up our spiritual authority and saying, no, I will not permit this in this other person, or I will not permit this lack or this, this loss of love or whatever it is, or this sickness to be in this person. I will do my job and I will co-labor with God. And I will command the enemy to stop what he's doing in that person. And I will bring what's, what's the tangible product in the kingdom of heaven down into that person. 